solve a system of three equations, you've got to get it down to a system of two equations with two variables. So what you do is you look for letters that have the same numbers in front of them. Like when I look at equation 1 and equation 2, I got a positive 1y, I got a negative 1y. So it's very easy to put together equation 1 and equation 2 to eliminate the y's. So equation 1 is 3x plus y plus 2z equals 1. Equation 2 is 2x minus y plus z equals negative 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations together. So 3x plus 2x is 5x. The y plus the negative y drops out, so they get eliminated. 2z plus 1z is 3z. And 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. So then this becomes my fourth equation. So that's equation 4. Now, I have to use, um, since I used equation 1 and equation 2, now I have to use equation 3 in my next part. So x plus y minus 4z equals negative 3. So now I can use either equation 1 or equation 2, doesn't matter which one. Um, I'm going to pick equation 2 because it was the one that had the negative y in front of it, because I still have to eliminate the y's. So equation 2 is 2x minus y plus z equals negative 3. So when I add these together, x plus 2x is 3x, y plus negative y drops out, negative 4z plus 1z is negative 3z, and that negative 3 plus negative 3 equals negative 6. That's equation 5. So now I've got two equations with an x and a z. So you had to get two equations that had the same two letters. So now I'm going to put 5x plus 3z equals negative 2, and 3x minus 3z equals negative 6 together. And then I either have to eliminate the x's or I have to eliminate the y's. If I wanted to eliminate the x's, I'd have to find least common multiple between 5 and 3, which would be 15. So I'd have to multiply the top row by 3 and the bottom row by 5. To eliminate the z's, I can already do it. I've got 3's matching. 1's positive, 1's negative. So all I have to do is add these, and I'll eliminate the z's. So 5x plus 3x is 8x. The z's drop out. Negative 2 plus negative 6 is negative 8. Divide each side by 8, and I know x is negative 1. Now I have to take that negative 1, and I have to plug it back into one of my two original equations or it back into equation 4 or equation 5. So I'm going to choose to go back into equation 4. So I'm going to say 5 times negative 1 plus 3z equals negative 2. So that's negative 5 plus 3z equals negative 2. Then you get the z by itself. i got to turn the negative 5 into a 0. So I add 5 and I get 3z equals a negative 2 plus 5 is 3, divide each side by 3, and z is 1. So now I can take my x equals negative 1, my z equals uh, positive 1, and I can plug them back into one of my three original equations. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, I'm going to pick equation 3. So I'm going to go back and pick equation 3 and say x is negative 1 plus y minus 4 times z, which is 1, and that equals negative 3. So then this is really negative 1 plus y. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 equals negative 3. I can combine negative 1 and negative 4 because they're on the same side and get negative 5 plus y equals negative 3. Uh, get the y by itself, I'd have to add 5 to get 5 to turn into a 0, and I would end up with y equals 2. So to write my answer, it becomes an ordered triple, so x is negative 1, alphabetically y comes next, so that's 2, and z is 1. So it's negative 1, 2, and 1. And of course, you can go back and check all that, just to make sure you're right. And you can say, is 3 times negative 1 plus 2 
plus 2 times 1, actually going to come out 1, and that will check, is 2 times negative 1 minus 2 plus 1, going to come out to be negative 3, and if you do it, that will check. And if you do negative 1 plus 2 minus 4 times 1, does that come out to be negative 3? And yes, it will check.